So most people think the case interview is the most intimidating part of the consulting interview. And the only reason I would agree with them is because it's the part that you have to prepare for, and preparation is the only way to get through this. You can't kind of smile and nod your way to success in a case interview. It's got a language all of its own. It's got a format all of its own. It's got special expectations that you don't see in necessarily in, in other types of interviews. And if you prepare, it's something that's doable. So the purpose of this video is not to get you ready for a case interview. There's a whole industry of books and preparation guides and manuals for that. The purpose of this video is to get you conversant in what a case interview is, so that when you're doing case in point by Mark Constantino, that you'll understand a little bit more going in and be better set up to make your practice work well. Um, so the classic case interview questions, you may have heard them. They seem more like brain teasers almost, or lateral thinking questions. Things like how many golf balls fit in the 747, or how many windows are there to wash in the city of New York. Those sorts of questions. Uh, they're falling more and more out of favor in big consulting firms, just because, well, I don't really know why, but what you'll see now is those sorts of questions will still come up. We call them market sizing questions now a lot of the time, but they'll come up as a part of a broader business question that the case interview actually revolves around. So, for example, a uh, much more likely case interview question that you'll see is something like, um, Company X is facing a 10% decrease in revenue in business unit. Why? Um, why do you think that is? Can you think about how you would start your analysis? What sorts of things would you want to know? So you see right off the bat that it's much more applied than theoretical. In fact, a lot of the times the case interview is drawn uh, explicitly from the experiences that your interviewer has had with actual clients. That was the case. That was true in my case interview. Um, what you need to know is what kind of questions should you ask. There are a lot of frameworks that you can work up. Following frameworks blindly is not the answer, but they're a good starting point if you don't know even where to begin. Uh, case in point in particular has a list of 15, 20 frameworks that are invaluable for people who don't have real world business experience, which is totally acceptable for undergraduates looking for their first job. Um, you should know these things. You should know uh, what the format of the interview is. Generally, an interview will start with the interviewer posing a question or setting up a scenario, and the interviewee beginning by probing for additional data or asking, asking leading questions to try to prove or disprove a hypothesis that he or she lays out at the beginning. These are sorts of things that we're only going to get to by practice. Uh, I think I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that I did about 50 or 60 practice cases with friends of mine before I felt ready to walk into an interview. That number might be different for you. It's different for every person. But the point is, the only way to get this skill is practice, practice, and more practice. I suggest that you find a friend, find someone else who's going through consulting or even finance to do similar types of interviews, uh, and go back and forth. You'll find that often, you learn more by delivering the case interview than you do from receiving it, just because the mindset is totally different and you'll understand better what the interviewer is looking for when they're asking certain type of questions. Just gives you a different frame of reference. Uh, so my recommendations in short, practice, practice, more practice. Check out some books. Case in point is, I think, the gold standard right now for at least undergrad prep. And I know Vault has a great guide as well. I'll put a couple links in the description. Find a friend to practice with. And don't be intimidated. It's something that's very teachable. Um, anyone can learn how to do it, given a certain baseline of motivation. Uh, and you can, too, as long as you give yourself enough time to